The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. All right, good afternoon. It's a beautiful day here, first day of summer. And as we're looking at these soybeans here, how many trifolias do you actually want before they start to flower? They're just starting to flower, some of them. Ideally, actually, we'd want five trifoliates, maybe even six. These beans here were planted on the 8th of May, and they have about four trifoliates pushing on five. So we're getting there for maximum yield potential, but really hard to catch up if you don't have those trifoliates before they start to flower. Now, as you can see here, they're filling in the canopy. Also, ideally, by the beginning of July, we want that canopy completely closed. Some of the issues we're starting to see at this time of year, these plants here, potassium deficiency. You can see that around the edge of the leaf, there's yellowing, chlorosis, and more so at the bottom of the leaves. And of course, as soon as you see potassium deficiency, you wonder, can I do something about it today? pretty tough to get that macronutrient in through the leaves. Sometimes if it rains, if it, the problem is bad enough, we still will recommend putting on some dry product. Now, I always suggest if you're going to um, be out there looking at these fields and you see something like this, you should dig up some roots because we're looking for soybean cyst nematode. Often it uh, shows up like this first. You, the potash deficiency is sometimes a symptom of soybean cyst nematode. So we're going to dig up some of these roots and take a careful look. The other thing of course is at this time of year we start to think about aphids and often it's the potassium deficient plants that the aphids reproduce more quickly on so that's where they are most uh, intense in terms of numbers. So that's the other thing. So far this year we haven't really found any aphids so that's great news and we're really looking forward to a rain this weekend that would go a long way to perk these beans up. So we'll dig up some now and we'll see what they look like. So we've dug up these roots here and they're actually coming along very nicely. Uh, we've got maybe even a dozen nodules on there. Of course, um, uh, exactly what we want to see at this time of year as the beans shift from living off just the nitrogen in the soil and on the, uh, from the seed and really starting to produce their own nitrogen. But the good news is here, no soybean cysts that we found at all looking carefully at these roots. And you do have to look carefully for those little tiny pit head cysts on the uh, root hairs, the smaller roots, not so much on the tap root. And uh, overall, these roots are coming along nice and we expect a good crop here. So thanks again, have a good day.